<laughs> it's Friday, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. And I have an episode for you this week. It's kind of not the norm for us. It's something different, and I hope you like it. I love starting new projects. Look at that. <laughs> You're like, hey, Jeff, what the hell are these for? And I'm like, my golf cart has way bigger tires. But since you asked, I'm gonna do a smoker with Montejo. And the coolest part is they're gonna give it away when I'm done with it. So you could own your very own devious Montejo smoker. So I kind of set everything together here, kind of give you an, a visual of what I'm really gonna do. But you really have no idea what I'm gonna do because it's gonna be epic. It's gonna be fucking sick. This stuff here, we don't need that. <laughs> so, sit back, relax, and watch me cut up a smoker and make it cool. Cheers. So with any big project, you always have to start with the frame. So first off, we took some one by two and sliced and diced it up and uh, made a basic frame for it. Sometimes the funnest part of the project is when we actually um, get to strip all the junk off of it and get it back down to bare bones. On this one here, we're going to shorten up the legs a little bit, uh, make it equal, uh, since the smoker had these big, ugly iron wheelie things on it. <laughs> we don't need those anymore. Some of this we're probably gonna reuse, and some of it will be uh, stuff we're just throwing in the trash. Got a couple trailer axles we decided to use for uh, front and rear to make it roll. Uh, they work really well because they do have big bearings on it, so they're pretty smooth. Well, I started taking some measurements and started deciding that uh, the fridge will fit perfectly in front. So what I did is I shortened up the legs, mocked up a frame, kind of set up the wheels. I'm the kind of person that has to see it, kind of feel it. Uh, then I ran into the problem where turning radius is not really going to work out. So I'm going to section it, I'm going to Z it up, over, and then I'll do a drop down so we can get some turning radius out of it. I think it'll work out pretty good. But again, my sketches are like this. This is funny. So I thought about it for, I thought about all this for about a day or two and I'm like, okay, I think I know what I want to do. Kind of came up with a plan. So I drew, I drew this out. As you can tell, it's really, <laughs> I use my computer for this. Just kidding. Uh, I don't know, I just kind of feel it and I just go with what I feel. I want it to look cool, I want it to work good. And, when it's done, I want people to go, damn, I want one of those. So I added a cross member in there to uh, support the frame because I'm going to cut it off and I don't want it to spread. Uh, I'm going to do some simple 45s. Basically, I'm going to build a big lift. Moving on to the front axle, I'm going to get one of my guys to uh, drill some holes and uh, do some TIG welding for me while I keep on working on the chassis. I also need to design the front end and do a drop down for it so that way the front axle will actually have a pivot point on it so we can actually get some turning radius and be able to move this thing around if you wanted to. I use my CNC plasma cutter for this. Uh, I've had it for about 15 years or so. It, it works really good. I can pretty much make anything you want out of metal. So it makes us handle this stuff with ease for sure. Here we are mocking up the front end. I think it looks sick. Uh, it looks like a big drop down lift kit. I don't know, something I think looks good. I uh, need to put the front support on and get the tow handle ready for it. Also, I have my main man here throwing some tubes in here to make it uh, sturdy. Kind of gives it that four link offload look too. Pretty stoked about that. And then we're gonna go over to the machine shop. And in the machine shop, we are actually going to CNC cut a couple handles. Uh, something we kind of thought up on the fly. We will also put their logo in the middle of it. It's pretty awesome having this equipment at our disposal because we can pretty much make anything. Built a small roll cage for the fridge and a new platform for the serving platform in front of the grill. Um, I had my buddy Peter come in and cut the stainless sheet metal and shape the corners and mount it for me while we're trying to get the rest of it all handled. Um, now the fun part, we get a bed line, the whole chassis. And what we're gonna do there is, is uh, get everything hung up, 
so we can get it sprayed. This stuff works really well. It's the same stuff you use in beds on your truck. Very durable, pressure wash it off. It looks really good. I uh, think this is perfect for this kind of theme that we're going with. Also, we have the logos to put on. <laughs> Not time for the fun part. We did the small one first just to test my skills, but this one here, this one will really test my skills. The tricky part of this uh, logo part is that there's a lot of little pieces in it, so it takes a little bit of time. Getting everything set up for the paint booth, we're gonna lay down some, uh, we're gonna lay down some Cerakote, which is what they use on guns, so it's super high temperature, and it should be durable and last forever. And the, 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 the best part about it is the smoker will not bake it off. And now we're getting down to the wire. We have to assemble this whole thing, put it all together because the deadline is today and we want to make sure that we finish on time and we can close this thing up and you can go to Montejo. So follow Montejo, check them out, do what they say, follow their dream. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know, just follow Montejo on their social media platform, Facebook, Instagram, IGTV. And let's get this thing, uh, let's give this thing away for you. Well, we got it all fabricated, everything's done. Now it's time to put all the jewelry on it. This is the best part about this thing is, it's all the little tiny touches we put on it to finish it off 100%. The finishing touches like the Montejo logo on the lid, we got a piston for a handle, smokestack we wrapped in another piece of aluminum. I think it turned out pretty sweet. The billet handles, the fridge, the bed liner, it all just came together and it looks awesome. The wheels and tires set it off. I mean, when you walk up to the smoker, people trip. They love it. So one lucky person out there is gonna get a chance to, to win this sucker. So best of luck to everybody. Well, there it is, she's done. I love it. So anyway, go to Monteo, find out how you can win this and take this home with you. Then you can invite me over for a beer and barbecue and we can have a good time. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Please leave a comment. Tell us what you think of our smoker. Give us any feedback you have and uh, I'll see you next week, Friday at five.